Hello, welcome to Smartboard 101. I'm your host, Robert Rocha. I'm an instructional technology specialist with the El Paso Independent School District. In today's segment, we're going to talk about the built-in internet browser in Smart Notebook 11. This internet browser allows you, again, to browse the internet within, directly within Smart Notebook. In previous versions, that wasn't available to us, so we always had to leave Smart Notebook and actually go to a web page. But now we can do that within Smart Notebook. So again, it's like one-stop shopping for everything in Smart Notebook. Everything is there at your fingertips. So let's go and take a look at that internet browser, how to access it, and how to add pin pages, and how to save it to our gallery, which is a, we're going to find out a really neat feature within Smart Notebook. So let me go to my computer screen over here. And I already have my uh, Smart Notebook opened up here. And now if I want to look or I want to access that particular browser, um, I don't see it as a toolbar up here. I actually have to go to my menu screen. And when I go to my menu screen, I'm going to go and choose Insert. So when I go to Insert here, and I'm going to blow this up so you can kind of see that. Um, when I went to Insert, I have also the options of, of blank page and so forth. But down below in my third box area, I have my internet browsing feature, which is right there. So when I click on my internet browser, a little window is going to open up as a pop-up, or it's going to be embedded within my Smart Notebook page. So let me go ahead and click on that so you can look and see that. And Internet Browser. And what's really neat about this particular browser is it acts just or interacts just like any other object within Smart Notebook. So if I do my marquee select where I drag my cursor around it, notice now I can rotate uh, my particular piece, I'm not sure why you'd want to rotate an internet page, but you could. You have the drop down menu features where you want to lock that down so kids can't move it or anything around. You can move it. And again, you could also go down here uh, to, um, let me get my editing bar back up here if I can. And I can also resize if I want a smaller page, if I want on that, or I wanted a larger page. I can go ahead and, and enlarge it any way that I feel I want to go ahead and add it to my page. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and lock it down. So I'm going to go to my drop down menu. I'm going to lock it down so things can't be moved. I'm going to lock it in place. And there I go. Now, what's really nice about this is every time you insert the browser, it gives you directions on how to use it. So that was really great of Smart to do that. And so it says Smart Notebook Interactive Browser. And I have, to, in addition to my other uh, uh, browsing buttons that I would normally see on any type of web browser, I also have these added features of pin the page, which allows me to pin a certain web page. So every time I want to go to a home page, it takes me directly back to that particular page. And of course, I can always reload that particular page on the very bottom. Now, as I look here, my, my address bar or my toolbar is on the bottom. Of course, I have my basic features of forward, backwards, repin or go back to my pin page. My pin page, I have access to my online uh, or on screen keyboard. I can go ahead and start typing in my address bar down here, use my regular keyboard if I wanted to. And again, another reload the page if I want to reload a page. And then this little button here, which allows me to move my, my, my toolbar to the top. So uh, I know for myself, I like my toolbar to be on top. So I'm going to click it to be on top so I can go and see it right there. It's a lot easier for me to access and so forth. So the first thing that I want to go ahead and do with my, with my web browser is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to our district page. So I'm going to click on that. And there's my on-screen keyboard, which I didn't want. Let me go back up here. And um, I think I know what happened. I locked my, my item so nothing could change on it. So that was a mistake on my part. And let me go back up here and click on this. There I go. I got my lock. I'm going to unlock it here. And now there we go. So that's something I learned right now. I did not know. So if you lock that feature down, it locks everything down so you can't move that page. So there might be times when you want a page locked down um, where you don't want things moved. You just want to display information. Maybe you don't want to interact with it as much. But I'm going to, I went ahead and unlocked mine. I'm going to go to our district homepage, which is episd.org. I'm going to go ahead and click on Return, or I can click the button up here to go to my actual page. And there is our home page of our district page that's there. And I'm going to go ahead and pin it. That way I know that this is the home page. I always want this particular object to go. 
Now, don't get this confused with being an automatic default home page for every time you open up your internet browser. Because since it's an object, it changes with each time that you use it. So that pinned page only works with that particular object at this particular time. So if you wanted another, you open up another notebook file that you were creating and you wanted a different web page, you could pin that one and it'll always be on that particular page. And then you can save things again to the gallery, which I'll show you in a, just a little bit. So here I've pinned my page. It's letting me know that I always will go to EPISD. And so here's some really neat features. Cause so like before, you can browse for anything that you wanted to browse for. But again, what makes this really powerful is let's say I wanted to take the pictures or if I go through my page here, notice that I have text that are, that's located here. Let's say I wanted to grab that text and move it to another page. Well, I can do that with this internet browser. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to a dual page display. And I'm going to add another page here. And there I go. I'm going to make my Willow web page a little bit larger if I can. Let me see if I can make it bigger. Let me move it to kind of do that marquee select. Well, that's not what I wanted. My marquee select. There I go. I got my button. Make it a little bit larger there so I can kind of see things a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Now, if I wanted to, let's say this board news, I'm going to go ahead and highlight that area. Okay. And once it's highlighted, and when I let go, it's going to copy that information and put it as an outside object. So there I go, and I'm going to go ahead and drag it over. And now, there it goes. Now I've now taken that object and I've created a new object for that particular highlighted words. So that's great. So let's say your district, like EPISD, our state of Texas has our uh, tax files in PDF forms. We could go online, actually go ahead and pull up a tax test or a new star test. And you can actually drag and drop the questions to a smart notebook file, which would come in really handy for our teachers uh, and our classroom instruction. Also, too, if I wanted a picture, let's say I wanted this picture right here, I can go ahead and click on that picture and drag and drop, and voila, there I go. I have my picture there. And for some reason, I got another, I got two pictures that were dragged, two objects, and that's okay. I'm not exactly sure how that happened, but things go happen all the time. But so now I've actually saved that particular picture. And I have that object for me to available. And as you know, in our previous segments of, of Smart Notebook or Smart Board 101, anything that's an object, you can save it to your my, the, my, my content on the gallery. So let's say I wanted this picture. I wanted to save it. I can go ahead and save that picture to the gallery. And there it is, my content, just like before. But what's great now is this particular page here of my internet browser, I have it pinned to EPISD. I simply do my highlighting feature there, my marquee select. I got my, there we go. And I drag it to my content. And there I go, and let's see pages. Let's see if it comes up under pages. No, let's go to interactive multimedia. And there it is, internet browser. So under the internet and multimedia, It'll always come up with that pin page of EPISD. So you can kind of see how you have multiple web pages set up and you can drag and drop them into the internet browsing feature that's right there. But this pretty much wraps it up for today's show and how to use the internet browser. We hope you get come again to view our show. And again, we're on Facebook, on EPISD TV Studio. If you want to like us on Facebook to kind of see what the latest uh, video series we're putting out. And again, we're also on YouTube under EPISD TV Studio to look at all the different videos that our uh, TV studio is producing. All right, well, again, this wraps it up for our today's show, and I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye.